Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of killing worms. The goal for this one is to get as much GP as possible as well as runes and if we are lucky enough, hopefully a dragon item. It is 1 in 10,000 to receive uh, any dragon item from worms when you're off task. So hopefully I get lucky. I, you know, I seriously doubt it, but you never know. Uh, uh, so that's just basically the goals for this one. The gear for this video is a set of full carols as well as brimstone boots instead of my normal dragon since the floor underneath this area is very hot. You gotta be careful there or you'll be uh, constantly hit with uh, four damage and you will die very quickly. So you gotta wear the uh, specific boots and uh, I was using a whip this time. Of course we're on deflect still going for that 200 mil defense XP goal long term. Should hit 16 mil in this video so we are climbing. Yeah, it feels like the other day I just got 90 99. Uh, as it goes for the inventory though, we do have a basic super set and one prayer potion for preserve. Full inventory of sharks. I think later on I might have switched to anglerfish and uh, bone crusher because these are worms and you know, you'll get worm bones every single drop. And unless you're wanting to pick up those bones, uh, you might as well just use a bone crusher. A rune pouch for high alks because there's a decent amount of items to high alk here, which you'll see that coin stack growing and growing every hour of the video. A gym bag for the gym and an herb sack for or you guessed it, the herbs. Now alongside the alkable drops, which I'll get into in a second, uh, you can also get some soul runes, which uh, is definitely the highlighted drop here. Soul runes and blood runes would be the two most beneficial drops, I'd say, from the worms. As well as fire runes and earth runes and noted pure essence. The herbs and the seed drops are a little uncommon here. I think Guam is the lowest tier you can get and it's like 1 in 76, and then to receive a Renard, it's like 1 in 221, so you won't be using that herb sack too much, but it's still worth it to bring, especially if you're spending like, you know, multiple hours here. As it goes for the high alks, they have a little bit of a unique high alk drop table uh, featuring red dehyde chaps, which is a pretty strange item from a worm, as well as adamant axe, uh, adamant square shield, adamant battle axe, and adamant 2H. The higher tier high alk drops would be a rune med helm, earth battle staff, rune battle axe, and dragon dagger. And the last three of those are 1 in 76. Well, there's a plane flying by overhead Head, but I'm just gonna keep on going, you know? So I, what I did uh, was basically alk all of those drops except the Dragon Dagger. I did uh, go ahead and collect those because I already had a stack of 20 in the banks uh, from a long time ago. I think this account was doing worm tasks uh, while I was training Slayer. I don't think I've ever made a loot video from worms on the Iron Man though. I specifically remember the day where Hydra, Drake, and worms came into the game and that was during the course of the 1000 series. So I think I killed 3000 worms on the second day of release and I ended up doing all those uh, monsters in the same week. So pretty successful video since they were a new monster uh, in old school RuneScape. But fast forward many, many years later, uh, they're certainly not as popular as they used to be. Although I will say a lot of people are always going to be in this worm room with you because it is a common slayer task and they are pretty beneficial to kill. I mean, I personally really enjoyed this video. Pretty laid back monster and any monster that I can kill and make a video on where I don't have to use prayer potions definitely a big fan of those i'm actually already halfway done with the next loot video on the iron man and that is loot from 10 hours of forgotten souls uh kind of a similar drop table to worms but not quite as good so the blood rune and the soul rune drops are dropped in a quantity of 15 to 20 with the souls and 25 to 30 with the bloods that really does increase the hourly price check that you're going to be making here at worms so i'm very glad that they drop uh two useful runes and then two runes that are not too useful compared so alongside all the drops that I've already mentioned, you can also get coin drops, which is one in nine. That's why I brought a ring of wealth for this one, because they do drop a quantity of 950 to 1450 GP. And then you can get some rune arrow tips and adamant arrow tips. One in 38 for these drops, but yeah, it's in a quantity of eight to 12. I wish it was a little bit more, but definitely beneficial for fletching for any Iron Man account. You just need feathers and a couple other things, headless arrows and so on. And there is one combat achievement that you can get get here and that's just easy and all you have to do is kill a worm and that's uh, a slithery encounter for anyone who hasn't obtained that yet. Now they do uh, hit with melee and magic but mainly magic. Uh, for example whenever I would run out of food and I had a little bit of prayer left uh, maybe a couple sips left of that one prayer potion I would bring every inventory I would just pray magic and for the most part I could extend my trip at least 10 minutes or so. I've noticed that their melee attack isn't nearly as accurate as their magic attack so that is uh, you know something to note. Now these 
worms have like two different forms when you're not attacking it and it's just idle it's just kind of being a little worm on the ground and then once you do attack it it kind of you know, spawns upwards and gets a lot bigger and then it looks more like a dragon than a worm at that point and that is why dragon hunter lance is a great weapon to use here uh but again this is the iron man so we're just using the whip uh but and that's okay with me you know they're pretty low level so it doesn't uh doesn't affect the time to kill them too much well we have about five hours left halfway into the video 707,000 coins and over a thousand blood runes and 600 soul runes as well as a decent amount of defense xp about to hit 16 million so that is awesome love seeing that xp go up every single loot video but you know what i love seeing even more ladies and gentlemen a 1 and 10 thousand drop new collection log item featuring the dragon harpoon this could have been dragon uh sword this could have been dragon throwing axes dragon knives but luckily it was the truly most useful item that these worms drop and the most expensive one as well i'm already 99 fishing on this account uh, far past it actually but that's okay i will still use this dragon harpoon for whenever i do any fishing in the future so i was very excited and very stunned at the same time to receive that as you can see i finally just enabled the collection log pop-up and that should serve us good for the future but again it just depends on what account i'm recording on uh, for example i was finishing up 10 hours of volcano while doing this video and uh, sometimes they just you know would take me about six seconds to get my recording started on a different account for example the iron man so i might still miss those collection log pop-ups uh, in the future but it is good to know that we did turn it on finally so sorry it took so long for that all right got about four hours and 20 minutes left of the video it is important to note that you do need 62 slayer in order to kill these worms and the quickest way to get to this location if you don't have the rada's blessing such as myself is to use the fairy ring code cir and if you can't afford boots of brimstone don't even worry about that you can just buy boots of stone from uh the npc konar and it doesn't cost much at all so yeah that, you know there's something to keep in mind and i guess i was right earlier on when i said that it kind of looks like a dragon when it's standing up and attacking you because apparently according to the wiki worms were an ancient race of dragons said to be capable of destroying cities and armies on their own yeah well i had no problem destroying them so you know i don't know about all the lore there but uh, one other thing to mention is they do not require any form of dragon fire protection so don't let that uh, mislead you and if you don't want to take any damage here at all as i mentioned before they do have two sets of attack styles but if you just want to range them and then pray magic overhead then you will take zero damage this whole time so that is something to keep in mind if you have prayer potions available and once again they are vulnerable to dragon bane weapons the lance and a you know dragon hunter crossbow as well but chances are if you have a dragon hunter crossbow or a lance you're probably not going to be uh, needing to safe spot these worms. But it is nice to know that you can safe spot them, so this opens uh, up the uh, possibility for any combat level person to kill them. You just need that slayer level requirement. Well, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 10 hours of worms has been completed. Definitely uh, did not expect to receive a dragon harpoon drop. Really made this video a little more special than it already was, if you ask me. Uh, as well as 18 dragon daggers, so yeah, nice little collection there. Runelight showed me uh, 979 kills, but not every kill does get tracked if there's no drop. So let's just round that up to about a thousand, maybe 1100 total. And without the dragon harpoon, it is about a three mil price check. And with it, it is about a 4.1 mil price check. So without any rare drops, you're looking at about 300k profit an hour. Um, you know, small amount of herbs and uh, not the most gems in the world, but a ton of runes and uh, arrow tips as well as pure essence. And just look at all those alkables. I mean, that coin stack was just growing and growing all of the hours into this video so I was very happy to see that um, decent amount of seeds but really none of them were picked up because they were just all low tier and now I figure I you know do a little bit of an Iron Man update I did check my kingdom recently after many many months and I also put one more mill in there and yeah I'm just trying to collect all the herbs that I can and just continue to work on herb lore and more potions in the bank for these loot videos I've also committed to two solo bandos kills every single day of the week and I'll make sure to record every single one 
one, as you can see, my gear isn't that great, uh, this dragon halberd and whatnot, but maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and you guys can see some upgraded gear uh, in one of these loot videos one of these days. But that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I should see you tomorrow night with either Forgotten Souls or Zolcano. A big thank you to all of the YouTube channel members for the generosity, and a big thank you to you guys for watching today. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.